It's time for another Ninja Everyday Ninja Gear Review. And in this video, we're gonna look at the Hennessy Hammock Shelter System. Um, my shelter tonight is gonna to be the Hennessy Hammock. This is their Expedition ASIM. This is one of the side zip models. I've had also the model where you get in from underneath. I love the Hennessy hammock. I'll be a fan uh, as long as they make them. So this is the Hennessy hammock inside the snake skin, which provides it a uh, lightweight, waterproof protection as, it's, as they're pulled on so that I can set it up in the rain or in a drizzle and nothing gets wet until that tarp is on top of it. Again, it makes it look like just a big old, big old snake, but it's a, a super convenient way to keep this nice and dry. Now, Hennessy gives you these flat pieces of nylon, almost like a seatbelt webbing sort of stuff with some loops on in to tie around the tree so that the rope itself doesn't cut into the tree. So these are the tree savers. So I like to set these up about eye level height. So again, if I'm setting this up, I set it up about as high as my eye. So when I pull this tight, the hammock sinks down low enough um, that it's kind of low and not in the wind. And I don't have to step way up to get into it, but it's not on the ground. While I was filming or trying to film, out of nowhere, this storm dropped in. So it, it's a great time to point out some of the reasons why I use the gear that I use. This Hennessy hammock is a sleeping shelter at night, but it's up off of the ground. So it makes for a nice chair, to, a camp chair to sit in. And you could do that with the old uh, models where you got in from the bottom, but the side zip makes this much easier. Uh, the tarp coverage is decent. It covers the hammock itself and gives me a little bit of room underneath it. But if you don't bring another tarp to set up, then this is what you're reduced to on uh, on rainy days. So a big benefit to the Hennessy hammock is that it's up off the ground. I can sit in it and use it as a chair to keep my butt dry. Uh, it gives me um, an opportunity to set my stuff up and keep it dry with the snake skins and the tarp staying on top, which was great. But I'm very limited in uh, how much I can move around. So if this rain persists, it might just be time for an afternoon nap, which I won't complain about either. When I'm selecting equipment for gear for, for trips like this, it's these sort of situations that you have to think about. Um, the gear needs to be light, but for me, I want it to last, and I want it to last with hard use. Um, I like equipment that I can get dirty and not have to worry about. I like um, equipment that's gonna take some bumps and some bruises um, and that I can keep using year after year. And the Hennessy hammock has been that. It's been one of those things I can throw up in a rainstorm, I can take down in a rainstorm, I can hang it up at home and air it out and then put it back up and let it sit for a month or two before I use it again. And when I pull it out, it's fine. Everything is good. There's no wear or tear on the uh, hammock body itself. No leaks in the tarp. Uh, I've been really satisfied with Hennessy Hammock as a camping shelter. So the sun has started to come out after the rain, and I wanted to show you my Hennessy setup uh, in its glory after a very rushed, uh, very rushed setup. So this is the ASIM, it's called that because it's an asymmetrical tarp, you can kind of see from this angle, it kicks out on one side. I tied this up at eye level very quickly and it has dropped a little bit, but I laid in it during the storm. I'm going to tighten it back up in a little while. The great thing though with the snake skins and setting it up is the tent body itself is dry. So even in that rainstorm that came down and made me rush, the tent itself is dry. I threw all my gear underneath, threw it under my poncho, so we're good to go there. But this is the side zip Hennessy, and this is the full 
space here. It looks tight, but when you get in it, it's great. When you get in it, it's very comfortable. These are the snake skins. You just slide them back on the side so they're out of the way. Tension the tarp up nice and tight. I will do a better job rigging this up momentarily. So that is the Hennessy Hammock ASIM Expedition. And this will be my bed for tonight. So this is us the next morning. This is after uh, sleeping all night. We had a little bit of rain last night, but not too much. The hammock kept me great. Uh, kept me dry the whole time. This is my garbage underneath. Actually, I just using that garbage bag to keep my uh, backpack and everything else dry. This is my buddy's setup with the extra large hex fly. Uh, that proved to be super useful last night when it was raining we had a, enough space to get underneath and hang out together where we couldn't have done that under the other fly that i have so that might be an investment i'm going to make for my hennessy coming up hey so i didn't get to film nearly the amount of stuff that i was planning on filming while I was down there because we had a bunch of rain come in and it just made it tricky to do everything. So that just means we get to do another camp out, which is good. But thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed what you did get to see. And we'll see you on the mat or we'll see you on the mountain. Peace. So in conclusion, I'd love to give the Hennessy Hammock a huge thumbs up. It's been a great piece of camping gear for me for many years, and I look forward to doing a lot more with it. And obviously my son loves getting in the hammock with me as well. Thanks for watching.